Hello, what's going on, folks? Yeah, man. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the election, the presidential election, U.S. presidential election. So, what happened, folks? The Democratic candidate was supposed to to win, according to a lot of people, according to Professor Lichman, according to a lot of the polls, even though the polls were so close but you know i i knew that the polls were wrong because the polls have have been wrong now for the past three or four elections so i don't believe in those polls those polls are garbage but what happened what did she do wrong what happened you know and i can hear a lot of blaming fingerprinted from the democratic party you know Joe Biden should have this, Joe Biden should have that, blah, blah, blah. That's not their case. Y'all got it wrong, man. Let me tell you what's going on, what happened. I know Democrats have been arguing about, you know, it's not a, it's not a rebuttal of Democrats, but it is a rebuttal of Democratic policies, procedures in this nation. So even though before some people embraced uh, the democratic, uh, uh, some of the policies, but right now this year is a different shit. So uh, to me, it's America just tell us, you know, tell us this, this candidate that, that, that they are desperate. They need help. They need financial help. They need government to work for them. They need the government to fix immigration, to stop that chaos on the border. You know, you have people that are coming in and out of the U.S. You don't know who they are. They from they come from MS MS16, all those crazy ass gangs in um, El Salvador, in Mexico, and even the Middle Eastern. So you got terrorists are running around the border and they're crossing. They're not vetted. You know, there's no figure. There's no fingerprint. You know, you just don't know who they are, and you just come in the nation. And I'm not just making stuff up. It's it's the truth because you know, because you have. It's not, it's not a, a whole lot of them, but you know, you have, there were a couple guys that were terrorists that they caught on the southern border that were trying to cross in the U.S. So, it's it's time for our politicians to listen to the people that sent them to Washington, you know. Some of these guys think, you know, now I am the senator, I am the deputy, you know, I am the big guy. I'm this, I'm that, you know, I'm successful, I'm Washington, I don't have to listen to you. Now I'm going to tell you what to do because I am the senator. No, you won't, you know. Remember, you're working for the people. The same way they hire you and they're going to fire you. Now this is why so many people like, you know, Casey and all those guys in Ohio and people that were, that's been sitting on, on, the, on the Senate and, and the House for so long lost their seat on November 5th of this year. What did Harris did wrong and uh, Tim was? They did not do anything wrong. It's just, um, it's just Tom. Tom was not on their side. You know, the issues were not on the side. You know, she ran the best campaign, the most organized campaign in the history of campaign in, in this nation, you know, most disciplined campaign, you know, you know, the, the, the other guy that, that won the election, he, de he doesn't win because he's, he's a good candidate because he, he ran a, a good campaign, you know, he ran the worst campaign, a, 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 a chaotic campaign, you know, it just, the people just tell, just tell them, the Democrats, that they're desperate. They need help. They need financial help. They need them to fix immigration. They need them to talk about the real issue. Uh, uh, you know, Democrats, uh, Dem Dem Democrats spend too much time, too much time talking about abortion, gay and lesbian things, you know, all those things. And these are not issues that people care about, you know. People care about their pocket books. When somebody can't pay their bills, can't pay their rent, can't pay their mortgage, you know, uh, a car that you used to fill up for twenty five dollars now it's fifty bucks to 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 fill it up. You know, it's hurt. It's hurting people. The people are just telling them that they are hurting. That they need help, and you know, and telling them, you know, making nice speeches, you know, all those. Nonsense that you're doing, it's, it's not going to solve the issues. You, know, you, you don't need to sit down 
and make this thing work and fix this thing and stop those spending, stop those wars, stop sending money overseas. And then when people here in this nation are suffering, you know, we're spending billions sending a weapon to Israel, sending, spending billions sending weapons to Ukraine. And then when you have countries here in, in the American continent, like in Haiti, you know, people are suffering. And I don't think the U.S. even look at the Haitian and the situation and say, you know, we need, we, we need to help them and stop those gangs from destroying the country. And then why those people keep coming, keep coming on our southern borders? Why? Because they're suffering, they're dying. Those gangs, those MS-16, they they extorting them. They 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 you know they raping the women. They are making them scared. You know they are robbing them. So they're running for safety. They're running for security. And then a lot of those U.S. policies are hurting those countries. Countries like Cuba, that they have this unfair embargo on them for. 60 plus years, you know, Venezuela, all those countries, you know, the U.S. policy is destroying those countries and, and those people are not going to stay over there and, they, and just die. You know, they will try to get over here to the USA and, you know, and get a better life for, their, for themselves and their children. So, Democrats lost that election. It's not because Joe Biden stayed too long in the race. It's not because anything that Joe Biden did or anything that Kamala Harris did is because the issues that Democrats were focusing on were not the right issues. Nobody care about your abortion. Nobody care about your gay and lesbian. Nobody care about your 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 your, your transgender. You know that transgender that transgender man and man whatever man or, or, or girl is a dude that you try to put in the ladies' bathroom looking at the ladies. You know it's wrong. You know. That transgender lady is is that become a dude. That's that's a lady you putting in the in the men bathroom looking at the men, and these are one people don't want this kind of thing. And then when you're looking at the numbers and all the things that were on on the poll, um, abortion was on the poll in South in ten states, like in three of those states in South Dakota, Nebraska, Florida. All those amendments they passed. You know the people voted to stop abortion. In Florida, Amendment Number Four, the people voted you know, to 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 scale back abortion. You know, in Missouri, you know, it's barely the people that want abortion barely won by uh, by fifty one percent. And then when you're looking at the numbers, the people that voted for Donald Trump, you, you got white men voted for him at fifty nine percent, Hispanic men voted for him at fifty four percent, white evangelical voted for him at sixty two percent, white women voted for him at 52% Catholic voted for him at 56%. When you're looking at those issues, why evangelical? These are, these are the people that against abortion. Catholic at 56%. These are, these are the people that against abortion. White evangelical. These are the people that's against abortion. And then when you take that big number, 62%, you, 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 can't, you can't win by losing those kind of groups by, as, as, by 62%. By 56 percent, and if you take the even evangelical group, it's a big group. It's it's about uh, it's about 100 120 million plus people that did not vote for her. That's go the other way. You know, this is a big group. And then when you take those people that that that, that call themselves gay and lesbian and transgenders, how many of those people that 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 there is? That there are in in this nation, how many how many of them? How many million? It's not it's not even it's not even three millions. It's not. So when you put that much focus on on this small group of people that can't even help you get elected, you know you're not really serious. You know you know like I always say, what you can what we can do for those people, gay and lesbian and transgender, you know. We can pass civil rights laws, uh, laws of protection to protect them. Obviously, you know we can't let people just go ahead and kill them, like you know, like a, like a bar barbaric society. But you know we need to have protection for them, and so they can live their life freely in society. But but uh, the politician, the democrat, the democratic candidate need to focus on the real issue: the economy, the immigration. You know. Uh, 
how price of housing, uh, the, the 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 interest rate, all those kind of things that people care about that are that are hurting people. You see, even even the democratic base is hurting by the economy. You know, if, you know, even you know, I was I was trying to to stay positive. You know, I I I voted for her because you know, but 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 I'm telling you. I'm feeling the economy myself, you know. I you know I was trying to say, you know, stay true, uh, trying to see a woman be, be, be became president, and and you know, there's a there's a lot of issue um, with this other guy, you know, that that I don't like, you know, all the chaos, you know, all the nonsense, like January six, you know, name calling, all those um, childish stuff, you know, I don't like because uh, this is the United States, man, you know, this is the the nation of for of, of the people it's, it, we, you need to govern for the people you know you need to include all the people i don't care who you are yellow blue blue white you know it, it, whether you're a republican or, or a democrat if you win you know you are the president of the united states and you, you need to govern for all the people and you should not leave in anybody behind and you know you, sh you should not be your speech you know you, you, should, you should you should not try to you know spread violence against certain group because they did not support you or they did not uh, you know, they, they did not agree with what you um uh, proposed <laughs> so going forward i want to see those democratic uh candidates to, to go in the communities listen to those people listen to the people listen to the issues listen to what they're telling you you know you don't tell them what to do not just because you're in washington not because you get to wear that suit in dc you know uh no you don't you know the next four years next two years you're gonna be out of job believe me if you don't if you don't do you know try to have try to work together to to ease that economy, to ease those nonsense and uh, that hurting people, you will not be sitting in Washington. Uh, 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 unfortunately, you know, uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden had uh, pay a price that for something that they did not create. You know, I know this economy, this slow economy, it's not coming from any uh, Biden Kamala policies. That slow economy is is a worldwide slow economy. It's come from COVID nineteen, and then the USA economy that, that we're dealing with right now is the economy from from Donald from Donald Trump from his government. All those chaotic stuff he he he, he had done during his foreign government that that you know that increased the spending, that increased the debt, that that increased all the debt ceiling. You know that put the country deeper in debt. You know that all those tax cuts that he gave to those rich people you know that those tax cuts those tax cuts did not get paid for so all those things increase the debt ceiling and, and uh, put a heavy weight on the economy so so when Biden came on he was working tirelessly on the economy trying to slow slow um the the inflation trying to slow the inflation from from going up you know it takes time when when an economy is slow down it takes time to to correct it for it to turn around you know that's why the people did not see did not feel the change but you know the economy is stable but the people did not feel the change because things are still so high in the market you know the price of gas still high the price of of, of housing and interest rate is, is still so high so that's why hurting them one big thing is the is the is immigration the border you know those the influx of people from haiti those haitian that that broke to the the, the 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 border you know when i saw that i was like man you know this is bad because that gonna cause them a second thing that gonna cause them a job that 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 gonna cause them their job and exactly that's what happened you know you no know, they they were trying to be you know nice you know helping those poor haitians you know they, that looking for better life you know trying to get here to change their life but they let them in but and they did not stop their flow they let it going and going and going and going and then the people get upset about that you know you know and then you see very recently that bad inside that executive order and 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 stop the influx and that was a little bit too late you know i'm not saying that you know, by him letting those people in was a wrong thing because you know he was trying to be uh human he, he was trying to be 
uh, understandable, you know, be have a good heart helping those people by letting them in. But you know, the fact that they, they let that thing keep flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing, and then that's why those uh, uh, Republican candidates they seize that moment and, and they campaign on it so hard, and they make people so scared about you know this, you know, MS 16 coming over, this coming over, you know, it might it's, it's it might be true, but it's not. You might you might find, let's say. In every hundred thousand people that cross over, there, there might be one, one terrorist. There might be one or two, one or two MS-16 that 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 slide too. You know, it's not that you know that gang taking over our society like you know like they they they, they like Donald Trump was telling the people you know by scaring them. But you know what? Donald Trump got the power, so we welcome him. Uh, we we're gonna we're gonna. See Sit down and focus on him, and I want you people, you know, to 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 focus, to pay attention. You no, know, I know so many of you are gonna say, you know what? I'm done. I'm upset. You know, there's no reason to be upset. It's politics. Politics. It's like it's like to me, it's like a football game. It's like a soccer game. It's like a basketball game. You know, two team two teams are playing. One supposed to win. One supposed to lose. So, team chunk team chunk one. You no, know, now we need to sit down and focus on him and hold him accountable. Hold him to his word. Watch him. Pay attention to him. Pay attention to what he does. Who's he, who is gonna be putting around him so we can so we can hold him accountable. You no, know, don't let that situation make you say, you know what? You no, know, I'm done with politics. You know, I'm not gonna. Uh, follow politics anymore. I'm, I don't care about politics anymore. You know, as a matter of fact, you need you need to to focus more on politics. You need to to, to pay a, a lot of attention. You need, you need to pay very close attention to that guy, Donald Trump, and his coming administration, and see what they're gonna be doing. We're gonna hold them accountable for the border. We're gonna hold them accountable for the economy. So let's we we need to pay attention to. Every little turn, every little thing that he does, you know, we need to follow the, the what, uh, whatever the economy does. We need, we need to hold him to his word. Follow the, follow immigration. Follow things, you know, you know, so we can hold him to his word. So, and it's really surprising to for so many people, but you know what? Um, Knowing that all the polls were wrong, you know, the polls were wrong in 2016, in 2020 uh, as well, the polls were wrong. And the polls were wrong even before that, uh, when um, when George W. Bush uh, ran, all those polls were wrong, you know. I don't believe in posters because those people, <laughs> right, today people people don't tell you the truth. When you call them, some of them lie to you. They, they might say, I'm going to vote for he or she, and then... They are not telling the truth, you know. They they, they just turn around and 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 for somebody else, you know. That's why I don't believe polls. And then sometimes some people they call, they don't answer the phone, you know. Those polls are not right, you know. You know how you know how you can tell who's gonna win an election by listening to the people, listening to society, listening to to the suffering people, you know. Go to the communities. And, and talk to people. They, and the, if the people are telling you that they are hurting, you know, the economy is hurting them, you know, the price are too high, you know, immigration needs to be fixed, and you need to listen to them. Democrats need to, need to go around the country, go to those communities, the rural communities, those, those smaller communities, and listen and talk to those people, you know. Uh, obviously, you know, you, they can't win again anymore with those uh, with those big cities, with those me mega cities, you know, because those people, a lot of them in those cities, they they don't they don't vote, and then a lot of them that are the democratic base, they are also hurting by this economy, you know, especially when you're living in the city like New York City, like in L LA, you know, those big cities like uh, Houston and Miami, you know, and price of price of everything are uh, higher than it is in like smaller counties, smaller cities. And then you know those people almost they make it almost the same the same money you make it you make in like um, if let's say you, you live you live you live in, 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 in 
Biloxi somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you know, uh, in New York City, you know, there's people, people have to have, have to do like two jobs to, to be able to, to afford a one bedroom, bedroom apartment, you know, these are all those things, you know, these are things that people are, are fed up are, are about, these are, these are things that make people angry, you know, let's, you know, people are working a full-time job, two full-time jobs, and they should, they're still struggling, you know, they can't afford to, to do things, you know, to, to, to put their kids, uh, you know, to feed their kids, you know, to, to do all those kind of things. So these are things our candidates need, 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 need to, to focus on so they can, you know, put a stop on those prices that, that are, that are rising. You know, listen, listen folks, you know, politicians, uh, unfortunately, they, they, they want to pay the price for high, high prices, but they are not the reason why those prices are going high. Those rich people, those uh, those business people, they're the one that that rising the price. You know, they rise the price just because you know they they they, they wanted they, they wanted the Democratic Party to to lose the election. They 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 kept the price high because Trump promised them that big tax cut. And then when you give the tax cut to those people, does it go back? to the economy. There's a stimulus the economy. No, it does not, you know. You give tax cut to those rich people, to, to the rich billionaire, guess what they turn around and do? They go buy they go turn around and buy that next twenty, forty million dollar boat. They go and turn around and go to LA and go to the ha and go to Hollywood and buy that 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 four hundred million dollar mansion. They go turn around and buy that next aircraft, forty million. That's what they do, you know. The democratic, the democratic party, you know, uh, uh, tax procedure is is better suited uh, to uh, to stimulate the economy, to and to, to 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 turn the economy around. And when you give tax break to people like me, you know, middle class, you know, people that that working people that need the money to spend on ourselves, on food, on clothes, on rent. So when we get that money, that extra, you know, extra few dollars that we get from that tax cut, that's what we do. Go and, and go and do with it. We go and pay for gas, you know. We spend for food, etc. So that money goes around and stimulate the economy and create more jobs. You know, there's it never works when you give tax cut to those rich people and uh, thinking it's gonna stimulate the economy. It's gonna change the economy. But like I'm telling you folks, you need, you, well, you need to pay attention, focus. Don't let the fact that uh, Canada lost the election uh, for you to say, you know, you don't follow politics, you know, I'm not going to follow politics anymore. I'm not going to support a candidate anymore. You know, there's no reason to be mad, to be upset, you know, at each other or at any candidate or putting any fingers because there's nothing Joe Biden or Kamala Harris does uh, do that, you know, that caused that to happen. The people were, the people are desperate. The people tell you in, in the United States, the people, the people tell, the people tell, tell you that they are desperate. The people tell, that's what, that's what those votes tell you exactly. They tell you they're desperate. They, they tell them that they need help. They tell them that they need somebody that's going to stand up to, 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 uh, to, uh, the, to the, with them on the border and, and try to do something serious about it and and and, and do something and, and stop that influx of people that come in here illegally by thousands you know it, it's daily daily they flow in and flow and then they come in you know they then it's it doesn't matter how 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 they do it but you know something gotta be done on the border. You know it's whether it's whether they build a wall, whether they, they put more more border patrol agent, whether they they put more drone, whether they put the put the military on the border, but we need to stop that flow from coming from the southern border. You know? Immigration, I'm for immigration. I want immigration, but you know, I want the I want the people that are coming here to be vetted, to get to the process, you know, put your application, sit and wait like people like people have been waiting. You know, you got people that apply legally, they've been sitting on on the wall for years, 10 years plus, you know, they never call them, you know, they, they can't reunite with their family, they can't reunite with their mom, their dad, their, their, their spouses, they've been sitting there and then you, you just take somebody that, that just decide, you know, I'm gonna walk over 
and then they just walk over and then you, you just gave them asylum. Those people are, are they really looking for asylum? A lot of them are not, not looking for asylum. Those people they 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 they're more look they're looking for more like a humanitarian help, you know. If a full of them and you know it's gotta be something like humanitarian visa. Not you know this is their claim for asylum is not the the right claim because those people like, a lot of them came from Chile, they came from uh Brazil, they came from all the Guyana, they they live in those countries for so many years, and then now they, they decided to, to pack up. You know, I'm kind of the said because the border is open. But you know, I I hope this is that this is the last time that the the border issue will will be will be brought up on on an election. I hope this guy Donald Trump, you know, they voted for him for that reason to fix the border, to close it. He has a mandate to do so. So I want you to focus on him. And make sure he does what the people send him in Washington for, you know. And so we can point a finger at him and, say, and tell him that you know what you lying. So let's focus. Let's stay together. So you know, we have one United, one United of America. This is one country. So we are not supposed to let them divide us because a lot of those uh, people, a lot of the politicians, you know, they try, they try to point fingers, they try to put us uh, back to back, and so they can. Uh, uh, quietly get into our system, get into the society, change a lot of things, make a lot of damage, and then when you wake up, when when we wake up, when we start fighting, you know, they already done a lot of damage to our society. You know, I mean, I, I've been I, I've been thinking, you know, you know, if if we let those people uh, that try to divide us, divide us, you know, do whatever they want, you know, you you do you see how Israel and Palestine are, you know. It's don't be surprised if our country one day become like that because it's that's what exactly what's gonna happen if, if we let those people, those dividers, you know, uh, take control of, of our society completely. So that's why I'm telling you, you need to focus on uh, focus more on politics. You know, the fact that we lose our election, you know, that you should not you should not that should not get you disengaged in politics. As a matter of fact, you know, you should increase your drive. You should increase your drive and 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 and. And, and focus more more on politics and, and watch what those people are doing with our country so folks until next time and you know i am um, i wanted to speak uh the same night after uh, the same night the election night but you know and and i didn't have a chance to so in the next day and i was like i was so busy and i want i wanted to take a break i wanted to sit down and and, and see a little bit uh, and follow the issues a little bit and, and, and think about what, what I wanted to what I want to say uh, before I come out and, and, and talk to you but uh, you know what you know let's focus on the future man you know it's just an election we lose an election you know there's no I I want those Democrats to get together to regroup you know to focus on on on, on the constituent go to that to those communities you know go to those people listen to them they're hurting you know your base your base is hurting those people are, those people in those inner city that that economy is hurting them too you know you know they you know they're not immune of those high prices they're not immune of those you know high rents you know high interest rate for mortgage they're not immune of that you know no, even even those that voted for you, they're not immune of that. You know, it's time for you to listen to your constituent, to listen to your to the people, listen to society. So going forward, I'm telling you, you will be you you will be winning a lot of elections if you listen to to the people. You know, until next time, my folks. You know, may the mighty God Jesus Christ bless you uh, abundantly. You know, let's stay focused. Let's uh, be safe. And then, you know, may God guard you and continue to bless you and protect you. Until next time, goodbye.